Oh, hello, it's Dan from Squirrel Stampede, and today we are checking out the new LEGO Jurassic World sets for 2020. We have the Indominus Rex versus the Ankylosaurus. <laughs> what was that? Oh my! Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. We just reviewed the super colossal Indominus Rex this week, so it must be Indominus Rex week here, but that is so cool to see the Indominus Rex on the channel because she is so, so cool. So let's get right to this new and exciting build. <laughs> On the table, Lego Jurassic World, set number 75941, Indominus Rex vs. Ankylosaurus, 537 pieces. With the Jurassic World Lego minifigures Owen Grady, Claire Deering, Gray and Zach Mitchell, Park Worker, and of course Ankylosaurus and Indominus Rex. On the back of the box, we are building the Gyrosphere attraction. Look out, falling trees. Make sure you get a ride before they close shop. Inside the box, a nice portrait booklet of instructions. A small sheet of stickers. I see trees, squirrels, in bag number one of pieces. Bag two, three, four. One grayish Indominus Rex with arms. One very spiky Ankylosaurus and its legs. And some extra pieces for your attraction. What rhymes with Indominus Rex or Ankylosaurus? We'll figure this out while we build. Also, who do you think would win in a fight? Please place in the comments, Indominus Rex or the Ankylosaurus. I'm kind of going with the Ankylosaurus today. Yeah, I agree, Squirrel. The Squirrelosaurus would also be a good match. It looks like, once again, the adult Squirrel Stampede is trying to build a LEGO Jurassic World set. <laughs> what a fool he is. <laughs> Look how apparently bad his construction of this foundation base is. <laughs> There's no railing back here. <laughs> Do be careful. Squirrel Stampede probably forgot to squeeze the panels down correctly. <laughs> Don't worry about me. My high raptor intelligence and amazing agility makes it almost full. Ah! <laughs> You're hurt. I gotta get out of here. Ooh, ugh. So if you don't think the Ankylosaurus would win the fight, how many more dinosaurs would be needed to take down the Indominus Rex? And constructed we have the Gyrosphere Attraction. 
quite a lively little build here. Very subtropical world of Jurassic. We have a gyrosphere sign with two trees that falleth. We have the main gyrosphere attraction hut where you would go to line up to get on your gyrosphere, which rolls along nicely on this little rail launcher. Three minifigures up front there. We have Owen, Claire, and little Zach. And in the gyrosphere we have Gray. I just like the detailed look of this little hut. They've done really well with the little details of the railing and the natural jungle life growing on over it. Then we have a nice little interesting roof feature. It's hard to say what supports what. Obviously the main roof is attached via these hinges up top and then these can kind of swing down. You can kind of balance however you want, although right now there would be a hole in the roof, so if you go like that, then these don't touch as much, but you can kind of play with that. And then back on over to the launcher. Oh, I love the little fan turnstile in here for the little figures to go through. And we've got the little launcher. A little bit tricky at first to activate. You're going to want to keep your character away from those trees. Let's have them just ram into this sign, actually. You'll want to keep your character on this little U-shaped stand launcher, I guess. And the farther back you pull them, the more speed you're going to get. If you just kind of go a little bit, you're not going to get much speed, but give it some extra speed by pulling back. And then also you'll want to make sure this railing isn't too high. If it gets too high, it starts straightening out and it ruins the uh, turn effect. You want to keep it kind of low and then give him a go. Oh, right into the sign. Very nice little build. I love the little attraction huts that they've got going for Jurassic World now. Also, we've got the tree feature here. So if Indominus Rex were to run through here, where's the Indominus Rex? Anyone see the Indominus Rex? Oh, I think we found it. So if the Indominus Rex were wanting to run through this tree feature, you can push in these little posts and the tree would fall and your Indominus Rex would smash on through. Great looking Indominus Rex, we will look at it in just a minute. Resetting the trees again, just put these posts back in. The main feature of these trees actually is for the Ankylosaurus, who's making awful table noises right now. So there's our new Ankylosaurus, they've done really well with this one. I'm not sure if Lego has done an Ankylosaurus before, this one's new to me, new Ankylosaurus with the set build. We've got moving hips in the back and front legs. The head doesn't rotate probably because it's attached to this massive spiny back. And we've got studs up here if you would wish to sit something up on top, ride, or other antics. And then of course the tail wags back and forth a little bit. The tail is made of a softer plastic, especially this uh, big ball of death on the back. So if you want to knock over a tree, it's at a perfect height to the tree. Bring the tree in a little bit here and see if we can knock it down a tree. Whoa, there it goes, and both trees knocked down. Oh, that time, that one knocked over by itself. Okay, let's try it again. Couple hits, and there it goes. A fun little activity feature of this set. Just pop your posts back in. And of course, now let's take a look at the Indominus Rex. There we are. This one is a really spectacular update to the Indominus Rex, mainly in just paint. It is a darker gray plastic this time, but with a very cool metallic sheen going on. I did not expect that sheen. It looks just great. Kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but it is there. Just looking so menacing. Obviously with the Indominus Rex, we've got rotating head, closing jaws, moving forearms, and back legs that move, and a little bit of tail movement too. Plenty of positions. Quick comparison with the original Indominus Rex from the Indominus Rex breakout set from several years ago. That's one set I never reviewed on the channel. It was a birthday gift and I just kind of left it for my own. Maybe someday I'll go back and review, but you can see the original one was a white bodied Indominus Rex with a gray pattern on top and it was not reflective. This new one, all in gray with that great reflective sheen looking great. I think both actually are very nice. I kind of like the stark white on this one, just a little bit drained of life, I suppose, which makes it even more scary. But then the new gray one, I like the look of the sheen and the head fall off ability. No, no. And maybe the gray matches more of how the Indominus Rex should look. Also, looking closer, and I almost just missed it, we have different arms going on the new Indominus Rex. The original arms had some articulation, a little bit of a square hold so you could fit a minifigure inside them. 
These new arms lack the secondary articulation point, but there is a stud part in the inner part of the claw, so you could probably grab onto something that way. That's kind of more menacing in a way. I don't know, I can't decide which hand I like better yet. I think I kind of like the originals. So awesome set build here. It runs a little bit high. I think I picked this up over at Walmart for $100. And at only 537 pieces, seems a little bit high, but I think they've increased the price definitely because of the fact you've got a large Ankylosaurus and a large Indominus Rex figure involved. Plus a gyrosphere. These are always great fun. How the character will just always stay upright for the most part in these. I always enjoy building these, so this is kind of an extra feature too. So maybe the price point is about right. The trees were a lot of fun to build. Actually, they look great. I love the vertical use of the studs going down the trunks. And of course, great minifigures. Another chance at Owen. A classic look at Jurassic World Claire. The boys are back. And back here we do have a park worker but he does not look like the park worker from Jurassic World if I recall wasn't he looking like one of those aloof teenagers who don't really care what they're doing and sent the boys on the gyrosphere going to have to watch that again overall though great set I think this is the best one coming out this summer 2020 ah there we go inside the instructions the Lego collection guide of the Jurassic World 2020 sets here. Obviously up front the Indominus Rex and Kylosaurus set. Already I do have Dr. Wu's Baby Dinosaurs Breakout Lab and I'll build that soon in the next week or so. And I also have found the Velociraptor Breakout Mission which is pretty neat because it's a 4 and up set. So it's a little more simplified and a nice new bluish dinosaur Velociraptor. The Galaminus Capture Set also looks incredible. It's got a great vehicle with netting and a couple drones. And Owen, I like the look of Owen, kind of early Jurassic World look. I will try to get to all those sets, but bear with me. This was the best set to go with first. What a great set to build. Man, I can't get enough of these trees falling down. I think it's so much fun. I could do this pretty much all day. Whoop. And all night. Is it raining? Whew, must be the heat of summer here. Wow, it's sure windy today. Ah, it's nighttime again. Anyhow, what a set to build. Thank you so much for watching. Please give a squike and a squirrel live if you like the content, and we will keep going with some more awesome Lego sets this summer. That's what I have to say about that.